hello everyone a very warm welcome to all of you recently i have seen one comment comment in the comment section that one person asked i have qualified csi and attempt gate examinations but still i feel mains paper of patent officer is difficult it seems difficult why after qualifying this csr net and gate with good rank still i feel this paper is difficult why so answer is very simple before i give answer for this question i am suggesting you to ask this question yourself because you must understand this not only you along with me i am giving speeches here to you that it doesn't mean i have a very very good knowledge but still as a mentor it is my responsibility to uh to talk about reality so that's why i'm telling you so first ask this question to yourself and we all must understand one thing that clearing csr net and gate that it doesn't mean we have wonderful knowledge we have to accept the reality concept is different clearing competitive examination is dif different clearing one competitive examination not only csr net and gate clearing one competitive examination by one aspirant or getting top rank in one competitive examination that it doesn't mean you have you have an adequate knowledge so whenever we face this type of descriptive papers the reality will come we can understand the actual reality you take any coaching institutes also for suppose i'm just going to provide you a small example if you are the csr net and gate aspirant definitely i hope you must have an idea on bench rule generally to solve the questions any coaching institute will give you a two lines only the two lines are more percentage of s character towards less electro negative substituent yes less electro negative substituent will be placed on more percentage of s character less percentage of s character towards more electro negative substituent so these two lines will be provided by any coaching institute we all just mark these two lines and we do the questions bus we will get the rank but if you take any descriptive paper examiner will ask you to describe about the bench rule examiner will give you applications of bench rule examiner will give you will give you a question to explain regarding bench rule in 150 words if you know these two lines only then how can you present present your answer i am asking you actually this is the mistake of us and this is the mistake of coaching institutes i am not targeting any one coaching institute most of the coaching institutes because they are also not wrong they want ranks they want ranks only so in 6 months of time if they can't teach like that students cannot get ranks because of that reason they teach like that but if we study like that only if we study everything every topic in an objective manner only just to solve the questions just to solve objective questions this type of problems will arise i'm just going to give you a three examples here if you think that you have an adequate knowledge because of your csr net and gate rank just try to solve these three questions and give your explanation in the comment section yes i am asking see first question i am giving here this is central metal atom this structure is just like trigonal bipyramidal structure and i am giving this structure to you this is the first structure second structure i am giving to you these two structures i am providing to you and my question is only one thing i'm giving you the answer this question sorry this structure 
is correct this structure is wrong give your explanation this is the first next so just these are the applications of bent's rule only again i am telling you this is the application of bent's rule okay next question pcl5 you can cleave like pcl3 plus cl2 not p plus 5 plus 5 cl minus why give your reason last question here ph3 is there here pf3 is there give the order of percentages of s character this is the structure x this is the structure y what is which which molecule has more percentage of s character which molecule has less percentage of percentage of s character and why these two structures doesn't follow bent's rule because most of us do this question by considering the bent's rule but here these two structures if you want to do this question and you have to know this will not follow bent's rule what is the reason just try to give your answers here only just pass your video just stop your video for just 2 to 3 minutes and try to give your answer damn sure 80 to 90% of the students cannot give answer because we just mug the things we just mug two lines more percentage of s character less percentage of s character more percentage of s character towards less electronegative substituent less percentage of s character towards more electronegative substituent we know these two things only how we can write our answer in a descriptive mode before i explain these two questions first of all i explain this this question so answer is very very simple even if you follow bent's rule your answer is x less than y percentage of s character for the first structure is less percentage of s character for the second structure is high but this is not according to bent's rule why here one point have to strike to your mind here ph3 ph3 molecule because surrounding atom is less than less than or equal to 2.5 electronegativity so this is dragose compound when it is a dragose compound there is no hybridization there is no hybridization here this molecule has hybridization when there is no hybridization there is no point to talk about percentage of s character so here hybridized orbital is there here hybridized orbital is there so that's why we can talk about the percentage of s character so this is the reason why x less than y this is the reason why x less than y and here again i am asking you one more question whenever you have the dragose compound your bond angle is approximately 90 degrees what is the reason i don't want to reveal the answer here if you know the answer please give reason about this in the comment section this is the third question okay when it comes to second question pcl5 is just cleaving like pcl3 and cl2 not p plus 5 and 5 cl minus what is the reason again because of the bent's rule this is just the application of bent's rule this is just the application of bent's rule because here pcl3 these three chlorines these three chlorines are equatorial chlorines these two chlorines are axial chlorines so you have to explain this question if examiner will ask you this question you have to explain this question by using bent's rule if you don't know which concept you have to apply to explain this question then how can you write your answer you are not able to write your explanation for these questions that means you don't have conceptual knowledge you are just mugging the things so this is the result of most of the coaching institutes next first question here this is chlorine size is very very big that means less electronegative this is fluorine which structure is correct structure which structure is correct structure according to the bent's rule this is the correct structure yes more percentage of s character more percentage of s character towards more bond angle side how cos theta equal to s by s minus 1 we have the formula according to that this is 120 degrees in trigonal bipyramidal this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees this is 120 degrees of course so more percentage of s character here so 
we can place less electronegative substituent that is chlorine here so this is correct now i am asking you so this is wrong structure now i am asking you what is the reason i am asking you what is the reason so here you have to tell the reason whenever here if you observe here bond angle is high so percentage of s character percentage of s character is high right okay so whenever here the chlorine is there here the chlorine is there first of all see this this one here whenever here percentage of s character is high here percentage of s character bond strength is high bond length is low bond length is less so here p orbital is very very small and this p orbital is very very small and fluorine is also small size fluorine is also small size okay now because of this electronegativity more partial positive charge can be formed here on central metal atom because of this element so bond will be strong because of electrostatic attractions bond will be more strong so bond length will drastically decreases here bond length will drastically decrease here but here here less percentage of s character bond strength less bond length is more so p orbital has higher size so long p orbital so here if you put higher size atom then what happens bond length will increase more drastically increase so here drastically increases here drastically decreases so that combinedly whenever these drastic changes are occurring the molecule will be unstable but here here whenever you put this higher size atom chlorine on this small size p orbital this bond length will decrease slightly and this bond length will increase slightly so that they can maintain some equilibrium because of that reason this one is stable this one is not stable so this explanation you have to present on paper whenever examiner will ask you this type of questions so even though you cracked your csr net and get with good rank that it doesn't mean you have a conceptual knowledge this is the difference between conceptual knowledge and normal knowledge if you give your effort i'm not trying to decrease the value of anyone because i'm also a ranker i also cracked jrf i also uh, i also cleared my gate exam but still you we all must understand we all have to accept the reality that we have to increase our conceptual knowledge whenever we have an adequate knowledge then only we can attempt this kind of papers otherwise we can't attempt this kind of descriptive and conceptual papers right so this is uh, this uh, this is the thing these are the some points which actually i wanted to share with you uh, yeah that's all thank you so much